and good morning and welcome back to another vlog i think today i'm gonna do a dana life vlog i'm gonna try to remember to pick up the camera as much as possible i honestly don't know how all these other youtubers do it like filming as soon as they wake up i had planned on filming um our morning like me getting the kids ready for school and all of that but i was such in a rush this morning that there was no way i could pick up the camera and start filming so the first clip you guys saw was after I had dropped off the kids, I went straight to my little workout room and I started doing my morning workout. I always try to do my workouts in the morning because if I don't get it done in the morning, I'm not that motivated like later in the afternoon to get it done. So if I can just get it out of the way in the morning, that is the best for me. So I did my 45 minute workout. I also want to show you guys our new little gym area. I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram or maybe you don't have Instagram. Um, if you guys do, then I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram handle right here. But yeah, I did share it over on IG, but just in case you guys didn't see it over there, I did want to show you guys. Um, we still do have a lot more like to buy for the gym. This is just like the beginning of our like little setup my husband built the barn doors he did it really really quickly i'm surprised how fast he was able to build it but the doors are up and then we have like a mat on the floor a few workout stuff so i'll show you that really quickly i also want to unbox my first fab fit fun box which is so exciting what else do i have planned today i'm gonna try to film a morning cleaning routine today just because i haven't been getting many cleaning videos up on my channel just because i've been so busy so I'm gonna try to film that before I head out to um, do groceries. But yeah, that's all I really have planned. I, I did tell Ryan once I picked him up from school that I would take him to Dollar Tree. I owed him $2, so he wants to go to Dollar Tree. So I'll probably um, film that as well or vlog while we were in Dollar Tree. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the workout room and then film my morning cleaning routine and then probably go do groceries. So let me show you guys the room really quickly. All right, so this is how it looks. So this is supposed to be like the second like formal like living room, but it used to be the kids play area. But now it's our gym area. So I do have the door open because I was working out earlier. But like I said, my husband did build this. He built it really, really quickly. I'm so proud of him. But we did decide to go with black handles. And then we painted it darker gray just because we didn't want it to clash with our gray floors too much. And then up there, he spray painted all the hardware black. And then oh, same thing over here. So I'll probably keep the doors open a lot just, um, just because I don't need to really hide the room unless we have guests over. And then when you go inside, I do have to pick all this up because I, like I said, I just finished working out um, not long ago. So here are some weights, but I have everything kind of thrown. I need to fix everything up, but I have some weights over here. I have some bands, some sliders, our bike, more dumbbells, medicine ball, a rowing machine. And then I had to blow this up, but this is like a yoga ball that I bought a week ago and I haven't blown it up yet. And then I have a few jump ropes in there, my yoga mat. And then up here is a TV. So I can um, do a lot of like my Peloton and other workouts on the TV and I can close this door. Like earlier today, I had to close this door because my dog kept on jumping at me while I was trying to work out. So it's good that I can close it off and get my workout done. But just thought I would show you guys really quickly. All right guys, so it is much later. It is two o'clock. I have exactly 10 minutes to unpack all the groceries and put them away before I have to go get the kids from school. What is up with my hair? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a really quick grocery haul and show you guys everything that I purchased. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know I don't get my meats, veggies, and fruit from Kroger, which is where I just went. I usually get like everything else from Kroger, but um, as far as like meats, veggies, and fruits, I ordered that from Whole Foods, so you aren't gonna see any of that in this haul. Other than grapes, I do get grapes from Kroger just because anytime I order it from Whole Foods, I don't feel like they really check the grapes and they're always like really soft and mushy. So I do get grapes from Kroger, but everything else um, like meats, veggies, like I said, that is from Whole Foods. So like I said, you're not gonna see any of that in this grocery haul, but I'm gonna quickly unpack it and then show you guys everything that I picked up. I also went to Walgreens. 
I only picked up three things. I will show you what I got from Walgreens as well. All right, so really quickly, because now I have like three minutes to get through all this, um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. So I picked up some baby arugula. I get this also from Kroger just because Whole Foods will only send me like a huge bulk size and I can never get through it before it goes bad. So I got one thing of arugula, a thing of baby spinach. The kids actually really love spinach as well. And then a baby spring mix. I got these chicken nuggets for the kids, um, mainly for Ryan. I know it's not healthy, but he loves Jurassic World. I've never seen Jurassic World um, chicken nuggets, so he's gonna be so excited. So I grabbed him a bag of that for like quick lunches. I also picked up this just because it's a quick dinner and we buy this a lot, it's good. So I bought some carnitas to make tacos this week. Over here is a bunch of snacks for the kids' school lunches. So oatmeal cream pies, some of these blueberry granola bars. I also got these Thin Crispy Farmhouse Chocolate Chip Cookies. They've never had these, but I figured they can try those out. And then some Ritz Crackers. I also got some bread. So I got myself my Dave's Killer Bread English Muffins, the kids' bread. And then for the tacos, I just got myself these carb counter um, tortillas. And then for the kids and my husband, I got just regular ones. So I also got this Zevia. I've never tried it. I'm not a big soda person at all. It's very rare when I drink soda, but when it's that time of the month, sometimes I crave a Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna try these. It's supposed to be zero calories, zero sugar. So we'll see how that is. I want to try it because Whitney Simmons has talked about this, I think. So try that out. I also got some of these Rain um, little energy drinks. I got a few protein bars. I like Lara Bar. I've never tried this one. It's a new protein one and it's apple cobbler. It sounded really good. These are my favorite protein bars. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely try these out. I got a white chocolate one as well, but I ate it in the car already. What other bars did I get? And then I also want to try these. These are the brand Fink and I got one in creamy peanut butter and the other one in brownie crunch. I got Madison two of these once upon a farm little pouches. She likes these. I put these in her lunchbox um, for school. Also, if you guys are like me and love candy, love sugar, this is a great, um, I, I don't wanna say healthier because it's not healthy, but it only has three grams of sugar for this entire bag. So I like to get these. And then I also got this chicken creations, classic barbecue. And then I just bought carnitas seasoning so I can season that meat, that meat's already seasoned, but I like extra seasoning. I also really love the Bonza brand, but I've never seen their box mac and cheese. So we're gonna try that out, see how it is. Got my husband at some Reese's. I'm gonna bring this in the car with me. This could be my lunch, just some sushi. I got the kids more um, little pouches for yogurt or yogurt pouches. Got some bacon. These are the best tortilla chips. So I grabbed a bag of those, a bag of chips for the kids. I got my husband a little chocolate cake. We were in need of some seasoning. So I got some parsley, some oregano, and then also some garlic powder. Also was out of mustard, grab mustard. Wanna try the Simple Organic um, Truth brand kombucha. So I think the brand I get is like GTS, something like that. And I just tried their strawberry lemonade. It's so good, but they didn't have that flavor in my grocery store. So I just grabbed their um, version of it. So we'll see how that is. I was out of almond milk, grabbed that. I got a pound of turkey. Everyone in the house loves it, so I usually have to get a pound or it won't last. I got two bags of cheese, um, just some sharp cheddar cheese. I got some hot dogs for the kids, mozzarella cheese because they love cheese. And then I also got Mexican cheese for when we do tacos. Also got some Alfredo sauce. If you guys have never tried this brand, it is really, really good. So grab some Alfredo sauce, grab some mini orange juices for Madison's um, breakfast. She eats breakfast at school, I pack it. So I usually will pack her one of those as well. This is for me for like a quick lunch during the week. They are beef enchiladas and the macros on them are pretty good. So grab that, grab some feta cheese for my salads. I grabbed these. I don't, I know they're not healthy. I probably shouldn't feed it to my kid, but 
sometimes Madison doesn't want to eat and um, yeah, I think she might like this because she likes rice. But yeah, I don't know. I figured this could be a quick lunch that I can pack her. So we'll try those out. Then I got some of these Red Robin steak fries, a bag of grapes. And then over here, I got my LaCroix. These are so good. A pack of corn on the cob, eggs, paper towels, and that is it. So that is everything that I got from the grocery store. I'm just gonna put away the cold food because I don't have time. I'm already late to pick up the kids. I don't have time to put all the dry food away. So I'm just gonna put all the cold food away really quickly. And then I will show you guys what I got from Walgreens. Like I said, it's only three things. I'll show you guys um, either when I get back home or maybe when I'm in carpooling, but I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. And then I told Ryan I would take him to Dollar Tree. So I'll probably um, vlog whenever we go to Dollar Tree. So I'll see you guys in a little. Ryan? I got the kids in school. Maddie, say hi. <laughs> You're showing your teeth. What do you find over there? Mm -hmm. We found a, bunch of, a bunch of really cute goodies. I might do another Dollar Tree haul for you guys, but Ryan's gonna pick out two things. We're in the school aisle. And look at these markers. Morning starters. This is our second grade. Maybe I can get this for you. Look, I found markers. We have enough markers at home. Now. If you guys have little ones, check out Dollar Tree. They have a lot of really good educational stuff. Oh, that is for second grade. I think I might get this for Ryan. Even though it's pink. Morning starters. Madison's playing with my fuzzy socks. Yeah. Don't lick it. Oh no. What are you looking at? Markers? You're always looking at markers. We have a lot of notebooks. Do you want a new like notebook to draw in or color? Do you want a new notebook to like draw in? Look, this is for second grade. You're in second grade. It's just like, Maddie, what are you doing? Extra work to do to practice. So we are in a Dollar Tree now, and the Dollar Tree usually doesn't have that much good stuff. It's the one down the street from my house, but. Today, I feel like I'm having luck. I was going to show you guys when I got home what I got, but I think I'm just going to film a separate Dollar Tree haul, another one, just because I am picking up a lot. So, um, Ryan's still picking out two things. He can pick out two things because I owe him $2, like I told you guys. But Madison keeps on looking at her hands like you're having to scream at her to not do that. But yeah, we've been here for a little bit now. We're going to head home. Um, Ryan wants leftover pizza for dinner, so that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. They have a few um, like little canvases that are really cute here that I want to show you guys. So they have a lot of really cute canvases. I've bought a few of them. Um, and they have some for like kids rooms. They have some for like, if you have like an office or something. Hopefully you guys can hear me talking when I'm on. But this one's really cute. I like this one. That one's cute. And obviously it's all for a dollar. That one is really cute. So they have a ton of different ones. I like plants like this like the pictures like that oh this one's really pretty i've never seen this one that's cute but yeah they have a ton of different ones to choose from but yeah oh what's this aroma diffuser that's cool i've never seen that either have you found anything yes I wanted, but I want the blue one. What? What do you want? What? I think I want it. You lost it. Oh, look at these dinosaurs. Fuzzy friends. All right, so we are now back home. What time is it? It's 4.35 and I picked up the kids like over an hour ago from school, but we spent a lot of time in Dollar Tree looking around, but I didn't show you guys from Kroger. I also got a candle. They had a lot of Christmas candles and wax melts. I was going to pick up a few wax melts, but I wasn't sure what I already had at home. So I only picked up a candle and this is by the Tuscany brand. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I love this brand um, for both candles and wax melts. But this one is called the most wonderful time of the year. First snowfall and it's a soy candle. And I just thought the packaging was so pretty with the gold lid. So grab this because I think I'm going to start um, decorating for Christmas this week because I can't wait anymore. I've been watching everyone else's um, clean and decorate with me so i might do it sooner but 
Also from Walgreens, I wanted to tell you guys what I got. I only got three things. So I got my e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this works good. And I think it's only like $3 if I'm not mistaken. And I get mine in deep brown. I was out of the one that I have now. I also picked up some more fake nails. So I love using Kiss Nails. I have like the gel um, kit to do gel nails and also the dip but that takes so much time and honestly I rarely have any extra time so I haven't done that for a while so it's just easier for me to do um these kiss nails like I have some on now and this is going on almost two weeks it's been like a week and a half that I put these on and they are still on none of them have uh, popped off so I love them but anyways I'm gonna try the impress ones I've never tried the impress ones these are by kiss um but this one, you don't put nail glue. I think there's already a sticker on it. So I think I was always just scared that it would pop off easier. I'll let you guys know how it works, but I thought that was really pretty. This design, does it say what the, it's called shimmer, but yeah, that's how it looks. So I'm gonna try that out once these pop off. The last thing I got is the main reason why I went to Walgreens. I should've went to Walmart, so I was watching Brittany Leach's um, stories on Instagram and she showed some false lashes that she was using from Kiss and I wanted to try them out. She said she got them from Walmart. I didn't feel like driving all the way to Walmart so I went to Walgreens and Walgreens did not have them but they had some other magnetic um, lashes by Kiss and I think this was $17.99 if I'm not mistaken. So it's basically just an eyeliner and then a liquid eyeliner that's like the magnet part and then you just um put the lashes on i have used eyeliner like magnetic lashes before I forgot what brand it was and i really liked it it worked really well um i just never bought extra lashes i actually still have the liner but i just want to try the kiss one so i'm gonna try these out this is in lure that's what this one is called i think yeah so I'm gonna test these out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. But that is everything I got from Walgreens. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree because I did get a lot of things. So I'm gonna film a separate haul video for you guys. I might end up going back another day, maybe picking up a few more things so I can include in the haul. But I found a lot of really cute things. So that'll be in a separate Dollar Tree haul. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up really quickly. I need to unpack the kids' backpacks and their lunch boxes unload a dishwasher and start getting dinner ready because it's almost five o'clock so we'll see how much more i will vlog i also need to go ahead and sit down and show you guys what i got in my um fat fit fun box so let me just clean up really quickly and then i will unbox the fat fit fun box for you guys all right guys so i am now finally going to show you what i got in my fab fit fun box this is the winter subscription so this is how the box looks like it is humongous it's so pretty it has all these blue and white stars so i'm gonna open it up and show you guys everything that i got so when you open it up it has more designs in the box i love packaging so i'm a sucker for packaging and then when you open it all of your products are in the box and i also like that it comes with a big booklet so a lot of times when you have subscriptions like ipsy or something um they have like just like a little card with just a little bit of information they have a whole entire magazine telling you prices and um about the products so i really like that so it did come with this magazine with all my products and all the other products that you could have received in your box but i'm gonna start pulling everything out and tell you guys what everything is and how much they are so if you guys are not familiar with fabfitfun it is a seasonal subscription so fabfitfun is not a month-to-month -month subscription it is a seasonal subscription and they're going to be sending you full-size products and it can be anywhere between beauty fashion lifestyle fitness you don't only get beauty products which is something that i really like and this is available in the us uk and also canada i really like that you can also customize a lot of the products that you will be receiving in your box and the total value for this is 200 dollars, which is crazy that they're sending you full-size products that's going to value up to 200 dollars. but i'm going to go ahead and start pulling things out and as i pull them out i will let you guys know the prices i did write down the prices so i wouldn't forget the first thing is this daily facial dry brush and i have never used a dry brush so i'm actually really excited to try this out and this brush is alone $20. So it's just a wooden 
um, little brush that you use on your face. You're not supposed to wet it. You're supposed to use it on like a clean face and use circular motions around your face to use it. So I'm really excited to try that out. Next is going to be these cutting boards and it does come in a pack of four. And those are all the colors that you get. And this cutting board is $19.95. I do have a wooden cutting board, but I don't have any of these to put on top of the cutting board. So this is something else that I'm gonna be using a lot. And I'm super excited that I finally have them because Every time I would go to Target and Walmart, I would tell myself to buy it and I would never buy it. So I got it in my FabFitFun box. So now I don't have to worry about that anymore. The next item is a beauty item and it is tea seed elixir oil. And I honestly already have started um, using this. I just put it back in the box so you guys can see how it is packaged. But this is how it looks like. And this alone, you guys, retails for $42. It's in a glass bottle. And I really like that it's not like super, super oily where I feel like my face is greasy. I feel like it does a really good job on moisturizing my face and making it feel nice and soft. So. I read up reviews on this and a lot of people said that it's actually helped like with blemishes and breakouts. So I'm hoping that'll help me out too because I do break out a lot. And so far I haven't had any um, like reactions to it, like a rash or more breakouts. So this is something that I might be repurchasing if it works really well for my face, but so far so good. I really like Next, it. Next beauty product item I received is by Dr. Brandt. It is their pore dermabrasion pore perfecting exfoliator and this alone retails for $58. Now, this is something else that I've already started using, like testing out on my skin. I just put it back in the box so you guys can see it. But this is how the bottle looks like. And I've been using this for about a week and I honestly feel like it's starting to help my skin just because I did have two large um, breakouts here on my chin before I started using this. And after a week of using this, it definitely started going down. So I feel like it's also helping with my pores on my nose. So this is something else that has definitely been working for me in the last week that I've been using it. So if it continues to work, I would definitely repurchase this, even though it's $58, super expensive if it's going to help with my pores and my breakouts, it's worth $58. So the next item is this little miniature wallet. How cute is that? This retails for $35. And this is really good for, like, especially like if you're traveling, maybe you don't wanna bring a big, like bulky wallet and you just wanna bring maybe one or two credit cards and your ID. This is perfect just to toss in your bag. So that is the next item I received. So the next product is a sorbet cream for your face and this retails for $39. Now this is one thing that I have not tried yet just because I didn't want to use too many new things on my skin just because I was scared that you know from using a new products it would make me break out. So I have yet to try this out. But look at the packaging. Look at how pretty that is. Again full size so pretty and I was really interested and trying this out just because I've never tried out like a sorbet type um, face cream. So really excited to try this out. I'll probably um, give this a try within the next few days. Like I said, I just wanted to ease in when trying all these new products on my skin. But again, I'm obsessed with the packaging and this retails for $39. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you already know I love testing out new hair products, especially masks. So I use a blow dryer and also the straightening iron on my hair a lot. I just colored it not long ago. So I need to make sure that I'm using products in my hair that's going to help with like my split ends and gonna add moisture. So I'm super excited to try this one out. It's called Rain Hair Mask and Sculpt Detox and this retails for $28. Something else I haven't tried out yet, but I'm super excited to try out. I will update you guys on how this works over on my Instagram. And whenever I vlog next, I'll update you guys on how this works, but I'm super excited to try this out. And then the last product I received was this liquid eyeliner in black, and this retails for $21. So I definitely need to practice doing my eyeliner, but I love trying new makeup products. And this is how the eyeliner looks like, just in case you guys are interested in um, seeing how it looks like. I like this type of eyeliner just because I feel like it helps um, people like me who can't do that winged really good. So that is how it looks and it's very, very black. This is the last item that I received in my FabFitFun box. If you guys are interested in trying them out, I will leave my promo code here on the screen. It is Starling. I also leave it down in my description box along with their link. So you guys can go check them out. By using my code, you guys will get $10 off 
So that brings your box down to $39.99, which I think is an amazing deal for all the products that you guys are going to be getting. It values for over $200, so definitely check them out. So I just wanna say thank you so much to FabFitFun for collabing with me again. Check them out, they are amazing. All the information will be linked down below with my promo code Starly. Maddie, what are you doing? Are you playing in the swing? Wee! It's so pretty outside. Yeah, Daddy, put the fire on. It's a fire pit because it's cold outside. We don't have to call 911. <laughs> Maddie, what are you saying? Tell me. You're just talking. <laughs> are you so happy? Is it the weekend? Is that why you're so happy? <laughs> Say hi. <clears throat> hi, Maple. You playing with the ball? Maddie. Too loud. So we were just outside for a really long time. When we went outside, it was still sunlight out and now it is completely dark. It is like 7.20, I'm about to get Madison in the bath really quickly and put her to bed and then um, get Ryan ready for bed. But I'm laughing because Ryan could have sat with Robert earlier because Robert had made like a makeshift like little ball. Um, I don't even know how to call it, but he like attached the ball to a bungee cord and then put it um, on our like deck for the dog to play with. And he told Ryan multiple times to stop playing with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. And Ryan wouldn't listen. So he started playing with it. And the ball came off with the little bungee cord. And at the end of the bungee cord was the little hook. And it kind of like scratched. It was like a baby scratch. But it scratched Ryan's finger. And he got mad at Robert because he said he didn't warn him that he can get hurt. But we told him to stop playing with it multiple times. So... He was mad and he went to our bedroom to watch TV, but he left a little note on the floor for Robert, aka dad, not to come into the room because he didn't want to talk or something like that. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys the note that he wrote that's in front of my room door. Hold on. So this is the note. <laughs> Clearly, we need to teach him how to spell, but I thought that was funny. He's not mad anymore. But that's the note he left in front of the door. Just in case you guys were wondering what the note said, and since nothing was spelled correctly, it said no dads allowed, um, except if you want to talk. And then I said no question mark, and then leave me alone. And then he underlined leave me alone, which I thought was really funny. But he's not mad anymore. It was literally just a little scratch on his finger. But maybe now he will listen when we tell him not to touch things. Pretty sure you guys can't even hear me because the TV's so loud. Um. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get Madison in the bath, um, brush her teeth, and put her to bed, and then it'll be Ryan's turn. I'm going to go ahead and close out this day in life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my god, all this background noise. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. I would really love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. In the comments, let me know what videos you guys would like to see um, soon. I'm going to be filming a lot of holiday um, videos, a lot of like shopping and um, hauls, stuff like that for Christmas and stuff. And then once Christmas is over, then I'll get back into like my regular routine of like organizing and cleaning, stuff like that. Um, I was thinking about maybe possibly filming um, maybe in a few weeks once it starts getting colder and it's like officially winter. Maybe a winter stay-at-home mom, like, nighttime routine or morning routine. I don't know. Let me know if this is something you guys are interested in. I'm trying to bring new content to my channel that you guys enjoy, but I'm just not sure what you guys enjoy because every video does different. Like, I look at my analytics and my top, like, three to five videos are all like literally different videos one it can be a haul another one is a cleaning video another one is a vlog so i don't have like consistent um videos that do really really well so sometimes i don't know what to film or what to upload but i enjoy doing a lot of things so 
let me know what you guys want to see also don't forget to check out bad fit fun all their information will be linked down below in my description box along with my promo code which is starling for ten dollars off your first box which only makes it 39.99 and again thank you so much to fab fit fun for working with me on this go ahead video. and get the kids in the bed thanks so much for watching i hope you guys have an amazing week weekend whenever you guys are watching this um stay safe and i'll see you guys next time Bye.